Hello guys, the topic for this video series will be SSL pinning in iOS using Swift. SSL also stands for Secured Socket Layer. So SSL pinning is a technique that we use on the client side to avoid a man in the middle attack while validating the server certificates. So the developers actually have a certificate in the bundle and then finally the client application interacts with the host and the certificates are used and we compare them against the server certificates one with the bundle and one with the server and we check this during runtime to validate a request whether it's an authentic one or it's a malicious one so in this video series we will be having these six parts initially i will be setting up a man in the middle attack using charles foxy i'll show by modifying a request or response of rest api then we'll download the certificate, generate a DER and PEM, and finally we'll generate a public key using OpenSSL commands. Then we'll use URL session, which will uh, do both certificate and public key pinning. Then we'll use LMOFire, which will again do the same thing, certificate and public key pinning. Then finally we'll use TrustKit. TrustKit is a third party where uh, it also allows to pin using public key pinning it also allows ssl pinning so this is trust kit if you see and trust kit you can read here it's available in all the variants in ios mac os tv os and even in watch os and supports both swift and objective c so basically this trust kit uh, usually works on the public key pinning technique i'll show how you can use trust kit and finally we'll mix Trust kit with LMO fire as well to show the public key, public key pinning part. So let's get started. Okay, so let us see our sample project where we will be implementing the SSL pinning. So here we have two blue labels here. I'll fetch the max and min temperature here and I'll use this API open feather map. And I'm only interested in the main object here. Well, I'll have temp underscore min and temp underscore max temperature in degree celsius okay so let us see the ui this is a very basic ui i have two outlets here and i need a network manager for that so let us quickly make the network manager network manager this will be a class network manager and it will have a private init it will have static let shared network manager that's it okay and this will also have a function function request okay and this function request will have t decodable and it will accept a url okay an optional url and uh, this will also have expecting that will be t dot type and closure completion completion will be again escaping and nothing new it will have a data which will be t and it will have error which will be error okay we also want to have a session here so we'll make a session URL session with init method I'll uh, initialize this session I'll keep this as ephemeral because I don't want any persistent cache for the timing delegate is nil and even the operation queue is nil okay guard let URL that's it if something is wrong I'll just print the message URL is found or maybe something cannot form URL. so this is uh, a shortened syntax in swift 5.7 in xcode 14 where we don't need to we don't need to write uh, you know guard let url equal to url again we used to write this but you know we can skip this part now and we can use the shortened notation similarly we can use with if let okay guard let url if we have a url then i'll have session dot data task and this will be url and this will be data response 
Don't require response, but yes, no problem. You can keep it. And if let error, if we have an error, I'll just do completion nil and error. That's it. Return. If we have data, guard let data tells you know, something is wrong, obviously. Something went wrong. We'll do a return here. And if we have data, then we'll have the decoder with us. So let's try to do try guess block. Do and catch. And again, if we have some error here, I'll just return this. Let's make a decoder. So we have JSON decoder. Okay. And I'll use the key decoding strategy here, convert from snake case because if you can see here, I have temp underscore min and temp underscore max, but I'll keep my variables as temp min and temp max. Okay. So I need to have this convert case, otherwise, I have to write the coding keys and all those stuff. Now let response equal to try decoder dot decode with and i need to have a structure as well which i'll pass here data and finally this will be nil and if everything is fine i'll get the response that's it so now let's go to the catch uh, let's go to the view controller and uh, I'll make the model here. So weather response is my model. Okay. And like I said, I am just interested in the main. So I don't require any of these. So I'll focus on main. I'll have another structure here, main. And it will have two things where temp min. That will be double. Where temp max. That will be double. And where main, main, that's it, decodable, and again this will be decodable, and let's call the network manager in user load, network manager, share dot request, and let's make the URL first, so this is my URL, I'll copy this URL, and I'll write where URL equal to URL dot minute, and all these query params I'll add as a query item kind of thing, append query items, and this will be an array of URL query item, URL query item in it, and we have three and four things. So this will be let and value will be this, right? Long. This is my current lat and long where I want to have the temperature units. Uh, this is another query param. Metric means like I have to uh, see the I get the data in Celsius. Okay, and finally, app ID. So we have app ID here. Okay. So our URL is ready. So I'll pass this URL, which is an optional. And I am assuming the weather dot self response. And okay. So I'll just print the data for the time being. If if we have an error, so we'll print the error, right? And we'll return it. Print error. Okay. Dot localized description. Let's go back to the network manager. And this is a very common mistake we generally make. We don't write resume here and sometimes we forget to write this. So with the resume now, I believe the API should be called and we'll see something in the console, either an error or either a success. So let us see. Build is succeeded and Okay, so we have successfully passed the response. 
the temperature minimum 22.06 and obviously the maximum is the same right now in the night so min and max yes we have 22.06 so we have successfully parsed this and in the next part we'll you know just add this in the ui and we'll tamper this uh, with charles proxy and we'll see how we can do ssl pinning on that okay see you in the next video